Hello, welcome to the second day of Master Days 2018 event. And as you probably know from previous cast webinars, my name is Rasa. And uh, today we will start our event uh, with Redbound University webinar. And in next 50 minutes, we will be able to know all the information about studies in the Netherlands, about Redbound University and their master's programs. And by the way, interesting fact, uh, Redbound University is the fastest rising Dutch university in the international university rankings. In 2016, uh, named as the best general university in the country. Impressive, right? <laughs> so, here you can see our representatives from Redbound University, Natalie, and uh, uh, students. So, maybe you can introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Natalie. Yeah, I work at the Faculty of Science and I'm not alone today. Students here? Um, maybe you can introduce yourself as well. Uh, so my name is Varnas Genis. Uh, I'm from Lithuania. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I study international economics and business. Yeah. Hi, I'm Dominik Kovanovic. I am from Poland and I study human geography my master's program. So those are the two students who will also be helping me answering all of your questions about our university and our programs. Yes, that's great. So if you have any uh, any questions about uh, studies in the round, uh, student life or etc., uh, you can uh, uh, write them in the comments and we will answer them in the end of the webinar. So Natalie, I think we can start with your presentation. Are you ready? I'm ready. Thank you. Okay, so we can start. Okay. Can you all see the presentation? Yes. Yes, that's great. great. Okay, fantastic. Well, um, as we just introduced, I'm from Rab we are from Radboud University, and uh, you already uh, introduced ourselves as being the fastest rising Dutch university in the rankings. Um, we are located in Nijmegen. Um, which is located in the southeast of the Netherlands, um, near the German border. Um, it's very centrally located in uh, the Netherlands, as the Netherlands, of course, isn't that big of a country. So it's very easy to travel from uh, Nijmegen to other places in the Netherlands. Uh, as you can see on this little map, um, there are a lot of airports nearby where you can travel um, to uh, back and forth to Lithuania or Poland. But it's also a very good gateway to travel to the rest of Europe. So maybe to Paris or to London. It's all very centrally located. Um, Nijmegen is a very student-oriented city. About 25% of our inhabitants is students. So that means that it's a lot of fun. There are a lot of cafes, there are lots of students, um, always fun activities around. So it's a very nice uh, city. And I think our students will be able to answer questions about the city better than I can because they live here and experience student life uh, on a daily basis. So if you have any questions about that, please feel free to put them in the comments. Um, well, we've already introduced ourselves, so that's good. Um, here are some images of our university. Um, Radboud University is a university, a research university, where education and research go hand in hand. And that means that you'll be taught by the best researchers um, and that you um, that the researchers and students work closely together, um, enabling you to be a better researcher and uh, to learn more about uh, current research and how to conduct that. Um, why study in Nijmegen? Um, well, most of you uh, probably, if you hear about the Netherlands, think about Amsterdam and other cities. But Nijmegen is, um, like I already said, a very student-oriented city. And it's a very fun city to be in and to live in and study in. Um, it's a medium-sized town, um, which means that it's not relatively big. It's re it's it's uh, also for Dutch understanding. It's not that big, but there's lots of things to do. It's easy accessible, as I already said. You can travel throughout Europe uh, very easily from the Ned from Nijmegen. Um, it's a lively student town, but it also has lots of green spaces, a rich cultural life. There are a lot of good places where you can go and um, drink a beer or um, have a bite to eat. 
And um, it's also very easy to go around by, uh, by bike here in Nijmegen, which will be my top tip for you as a student when you get here to the Netherlands or to Nijmegen in particular, buy a bike, uh, because it's the fastest way around to get around the city and around the country. And it's also um, the cheapest way to get around the city here. Um, this is actually a brief video of Nijmegen uh, to help introduce the city even better, but I'll show you that in the end of the presentation. Now, why would you study at Radboud University? Um, we are an internationally recognized uh, uh, university, research university, as I already mentioned, um, where uh, researchers and students work closely together. Um, you have a, a very personal approach in teaching. I think also the students can um, verify this um, in the end. Um, the teacher will, pro will know your name. Um, there are small work groups. This is also very particular for the Dutch way of teaching, but it's also very particular for uh, Radboud University. Um, we have small work groups where there's a personal approach. Um, this also means that you will be expected to have read and done your homework because you will be called upon and there will be lots of discussion in the groups. But it's also a very uh, nice way of teaching because it's very easy to approach your teacher, to ask questions, to go um, into discussion with them. Um, and this will um, extend your knowledge and extend your, um, yeah, your skills. Um, there's a lot of freedom uh, to choose your courses here as well. Um, next to that, we have excellent services and facilities. We have several uh, libraries here on campus. Um, very uh, easy access to uh, a huge amount of uh, resources, a huge amount of articles. Uh, anything that you may need or uh, require for your studies. Um, there is um, a sports center here that uh, on campus, it's, which is actually the best sports center in Europe, uh, the best university sports center. You can choose from more than a hundred sport, different sports uh, for a, a relatively cheap price, um, which is a very good selling point for a university as well. We have the greenest campus in the Netherlands um, when you visit our campus, and you can also see it on the picture there. There are lots of trees, lots of grass, uh, green fields. And actually, at the moment, we are um, changing our campus even uh, to make it even more green. So we are tearing down a lot of buildings and replacing them by um, smaller but higher buildings so that we can, um, around those buildings, um, provide even more green locations, so more grass and uh, make it a very lively and friendly student um, environment. Um, we also have a rich international network um, with different universities uh, where you can go on an exchange program or where you can um, get your um, uh, work together with those universities, um, internships perhaps. So um, this also enhances our, uh, our knowledge here at the university. We have seven faculties at this university. Um, you can see them on the slides. We have a, a faculty of philosophy, theology and religious studies arts, law, social sciences, science, medical science, and an IMAC School of Management. Um, both the students who are with me here today are from the faculty of an IMAC School of Management. Um, and this also verifies what uh, Rasa already told in the beginning, that we are a general uh, university, meaning that we teach uh, topics from medical sciences up to business, um, up to um, social sciences like um, um, psychology and artificial intelligence, but also mathematics studies, um, literature, study, literature studies, uh, business administration, economics. Um, so we have a very uh, variety of programs. And in those programs, we work closely together with the 17 research institutes that we have here, uh, also covering all research areas. So for humanities, behavioral science, medicine, and um, this also, since we have a very compact campus, uh, everything is located here within one square mile, um, this means that there's a lot of interdisciplinary research possible. So it's very easy to connect with other students from different programs, different backgrounds, with researchers from different backgrounds, um, and working together, collaborating on um, your research program um, project, for example. Um, some of our excellent research facilities, I already mentioned the facilities like the library and the, the um, sports center, but we also, we also have a lot of research facilities here. Uh, for example, the Donders Institute for Brain Cognition and Behavior, 
Um, here we research the brain, how our brain works, um, how our brain uh, processes things, uh, how we learn, how we acquire language, for example. Um, and we have the Max Planck Institute for Psycholinguistics. Um, here we also um, study the brain and then in combination with language. Um, so we have a lot of high um, high ranked facilities. Um, the Max Planck Institute, for example, is a renowned facility abroad. A lot of renowned researchers work here and you will be able to um, collaborate with them um, in your program. So that's where we have the close relation to education uh, and research. We go hand in hand. Um, some images of our wonderful city, uh, Nijmegen. And um, in those seven faculties, um, what, what does I uh, inform you about? We have 37 um, bachelor programs. Um, 12 of those are English taught. And um, for you, much more interesting, I suppose, we have 72 master's programs, of which 36 are English taught. So there's a lot of choice for you, a lot of opportunities, um, a lot of study facilities that might fit your needs uh, and wants for a study program. And we also have nine research master's programs who are all already taught in English. Um, here uh, you can see an overview of our bachelor's programs. Um, since it's a master's event, uh, these may not you may not be interested specifically in those, but should you be interested in uh, pursuing a bachelor's program in our university, um, you can always um, ask Kastu if they can help you to see what they can uh, mean for you. Um, and then our master's programs. Oh, sorry, there's more information about the bachelor's, but since we only have 30 minutes, I can imagine that these might not be the in most interesting for you. So I'll move on to our master's programs. However, if you would like more information about our bachelor's programs, the deadlines, the specifics, uh, please feel free to contact Castu about that. You can see the email uh, of Castu on our um, slide. Our master's programs, um, well, we have a wide range of programs in, for example, business and economics, computing science, medical science, uh, law, and um, social and behavioral sciences. The admission requirements you can find um, on the website of CASTU. Um, they have more information about the specifics for the per, per program. Um, each program, of course, has different admission requirements and has different requirements as opposed to, for example, language or your background. And CASTU will be able to help you with all of those uh, requirements. Um, we do have several deadlines to keep in mind if you want to apply for a program at our university. Um, if you wish to apply and get the service package, um, which entails that we help you find housing here in Nijmegen, which is obviously always difficult. And if you are an international student, it can even be more difficult since you do not know the city that well yet. So we'll be able to help you with that and provide you with a service package. If you wish to want uh, to have the service package, please, um, you can um, apply before the deadline of 15 April and um, after that you can still apply or try to apply but we will not be able to help you with the service package and um, we cannot guarantee anything after that anymore um, financial matters um, what will it cost to study here uh, well in general these are the costs for our program so if you are an EU student which you are from Poland or Lithuania you will pay about uh, 2060 euros uh, for a program at our university um, and um, next to that you will have some costs of course for housing um, living in the city um, you will need to provide uh, to um, pay for groceries, books for studying, other materials for studying. And if you, of course, wish to participate, for example, in the Rapid Sports Center, or if you go out a lot, then, uh, of course, it differs what you may need per uh, month as a student. Um, but uh, if you want to um, be able to pay for all of those, yes, um, yes you can always uh, work as a student. We have a few job opportunities here. Um, we have an on-campus job agency where you can register and they will be able to help you see if you can find a job for you and then you can work uh, while you're working here as a student. Um, we account that you may need about 919 euros per month. Um, so. Um, 
take that into account when uh, you want to move here. But like I said, there are always options for you to uh, to work here as a student, so you can make a little extra cash that you can spend on uh, while you are uh, studying here. Uh, perhaps the students here may be able to help out even more with questions about what they may need uh, or how they've experienced the differences between what they need as a student in Lithuania or Poland and what you may need as a student here. Uh, here are some images of our university. As you can see, there is a lot of green grass with lots of study facilities. And you can see um, up in the right left hand corner, you can see the sports center and the climbing wall that we have there. Um, the climbing wall is only one of the many, many sports that we provide there. And this is another video of our university, which we'll be able to show at the end of our presentation. Um, so, if you have any questions, uh, you can of course uh, post them in the um, on, below the video, and then our students will be able to answer them. Um, but you can also always contact the CASU team, and um, you can find the, uh, the details here on the slide. Um, please do not forget to like our Wrap Up Perspective International Students Facebook page or our Twitter page, um, where you can find out lots more about our university and find out uh, nice details about the university. And I will now try and show you the two videos. So the first one being a video about Nijmegen. Um, to show you a little bit more about our university, uh, our city, and uh, what fun it is to live here. Enjoy. In a big city full of noise, there must be a lot of choice. What a joy, oh boy, where are you? The car is parked in every street, the name is written on license plates. What a treat, I repeat, where are you? Left my heart open unaware, you had time to build a house in there. Gave you tools and money to our food. History teaches us that societal challenges don't have a single answer. That there's no single solution to the big issues we face. That there's no single truth. We need to be curious in order to discover. We need to listen in order to understand. 
If we're biased, we won't see the other sides to a story. Protecting democracy and human rights. Improving healthcare. Harvesting energy in a sustainable way. Supporting economic and technological progress. Shaping society requires a broad view and an understanding that many things in life are interrelated. In its search for the best possible answers, Rutbaud University brings together the best in knowledge and facilities. Within seven faculties, teachers and researchers from over 50 countries explore all domains of science, working closely together with other institutes and civil society. With its state-of-the-art infrastructure, our green campus breathes openness, collaboration and shared ambition. It's a place where ideas come to fruition and talents can grow. Every day, we make an impact on society through our students, renowned scientists, leading thinkers and innovative businesses. If such a journey is to be yours, this is the place to be. If you want to shape the future together with us, we invite you to change perspective. So, right. thank you, Natalie. Your presentation was very short but interesting. So, uh, just a quick reminder for those uh, who didn't answer, uh, didn't ask any questions. So, you can do that in the comment box, and we will answer them uh, in a few minutes. And uh, just a quick reminder for those students who are interested in studying in Redbound University. So, you can always contact Custo, uh, and we will help you. Uh, with all the application process and uh, everything you need to do is uh, just to register to CUSTO website and fill application form with uh, all needed documents and uh, we will administrate all application process so you don't need to worry anything about. So um, maybe we can move to questions part. Okay. So, uh, Victoria is asking, uh, do you have master's degree studies in physiotherapy? No, unfortunately, we do not have anything in physiotherapy. Um, as I explained, we are a research university, and in the Netherlands, we have a difference between a research university of applied science, and physiotherapy is a um, study, study for a university of applied science, so we do not offer anything of that nature. Mm -hmm. And do you have uh, some scholarships? And no, unfortunately, we do not have any scholarships for European students um, because we have the lower tuition fee uh, since uh, within the EU, you pay the same tuition fee as Dutch students. So no, unfortunately, we do not have scholarships for EU students. Um, but like I said, there are a lot of opportunities uh, perhaps to work here as a student as well. And uh, I have one question for uh, uh, Lithuanian and uh, Polish students. Uh, what uh, are your career plans uh, after uh, your studies? Okay, yeah, well, um, since I'm a human geography student, um, and as my colleague here said, this is a research university, I will probably focus on, um, on further research because possibilities here and the skills that I can acquire here are uh, really high. So I think this is a good university to, to study at if you think about further, further academic career. But at the same time, in my field, which is um, connected to managing in social sciences, let's say it that way, um, I can find a lot of opportunities to work in um, and in several in, in a lot of um, NGOs and um, policy agencies 
consulting regarding international development and migrations, which is my field. So I think that Radboud provides a lot of opportunities. One more thing is that uh, you have uh, a lot of internships here and a lot of opportunities to go abroad for internships. So this might be a good start for any career from this university. Thank you. Uh, yes, uh, for me, uh, since I'm finishing uh, my bachelor, uh, uh, at the moment I'm thinking only about masters or uh, even entering the job market and not so much about like further uh, perspective of my uh, degree or career in the field. So uh, for now, it's just either master or uh, looking into the job market. And uh, Roberta is asking, I would like to know more about medical science master studies. Maybe you can tell more. Um, well, uh, we provide two masters at the medical sciences faculty: biomedical, um, biomedical sciences, and sorry, <laughs> molecular mechanisms of disease. Um, those uh, are two research masters, which means they are two years, um, especially. Molecular mechanisms of disease is a highly selective master's. Um, they both um, molecular mechanisms of disease. Um, uh, no, sorry, biomedical sciences uh, studies. Um, um, yeah, looks at diseases and how um, um, from internally in the body, so how they uh, develop and what they can do about it, and um, it is. Um, yeah, like I said, they're both very highly selective masters, so uh, they will be perfect if you have a degree already in biology, for example, or in uh, medical science. Um, so if you are looking something in those areas, um, mind you, both studies are not uh, to be uh, if you want to become a doctor, for example. We do offer medicine here, but that's only in Dutch. So if you want to become a doctor, then um, we offer uh, we we do not have any opportunities. But these two masters um, are research masters, which is a perfect uh, step if you want to pursue a research career, um, uh, researching medicine, researching uh, how to develop medicine, how to. Um, fight the specific disease by using uh, or developing medicine um, yeah here at the university thank you natalie so uh, as i see we don't have uh, any more questions so uh, just a short information uh, for those who had uh, registered uh, uh, skype interviews uh, we send you an email with all the information so urban university will contact you shortly and uh, so Natalie, thank you for uh, sharing your experience uh, and thank you everyone for watching. Uh, there is two more webinars ahead, so stay with us this evening and uh, see you uh, uh, see you in the next webinar. Goodbye. Bye.